Hey guys, Sword here, and as you can plainly tell, there's HD Preview 2. I've waited a week, and it's finally here, and now in its new, it now includes HDMI in and out plus 1080p no delay pass through. So this is great. I'm finally be able to play in 1080p. The quality is going to be better, and since I'm going to be producing 720p videos to the HD type of videos, and since I'm recording in 1080p and putting it down to 720, the 720 will actually be better quality. So there you have it. You could actually record higher quality and put in low quality, and the lower quality will be better. But you can never record in low quality quality and put it in high quality to make it better. It'll just be fuzzy and just be blurry. That's how it works. You cannot put like you cannot make a 360p top video and try to make it 720. It's just not going to work. You could make a 720p video and make it to 360. So, yeah, if you actually know what I'm talking about, there you go. If not, then I apologize. I'm just rambling on at this point. So, basically, here's the HD PVR2. I'm finally be able to play with HDMI cables. And this is basically an unboxing video. And since this is on a tripod, you don't have to see me fumble up with the camera anymore. Yeah, I've always had a tripod, it's just I never really used it for my unboxing videos. But here you are, here's HD PVR2. A lot of people told me that I should go with the Elgato, but since I've already bought it, or bought the HD PVR2, it's kind of too late to actually take it back. So, I'm going to have to deal with it. If the Elgato is actually better, oh well. I still got a recording system, I'm still making videos, and not many people complain about the HD PVR video, so it's a win-win situation for everybody, I guess. So, without further ado, let's go unbox this thing. So basically what we have here is just a little setup right there. Then we have the little component cables and then the requirements. So if you want to know what this looks like and what it is, here it is for you. So hopefully none of, none of the things got damaged during the shipping because it looks like the box got a little bent. So let's continue on. All right, so what we have here is just a power source supply right here. Just plug it in. It's kind of actually smaller than the HD uh, PVR component one or the previous one. Okay, I'm going to just say HD PVR2 and HD PVR, so hopefully you guys don't get confused. Or should I say the previous version? Well, here is a little RCA heads for, or female, dang you, t dang you computer or whatever we call it. Well, this is for the PS3, so you have to connect it to a three, PS3 because obviously the PS3 does not allow third-party softwares or attachments into it for some odd reason. So they, the Hubpod company actually had to make something for it. And then we have the RCA heads, the male one, and you could just plug into the PS3, connect it all together, and then there you go. Everything's going to work fine. Then they actually give you one HDMI cable, and I believe there's another one. They have to have two, of course. Which one is this? Okay, this one's for the computer. You have to plug into your computer or enough to record, because you actually have to have it connected to the computer if you want to record videos or do live streaming. And then here's the other HDMI cable. So they provide you with two HDMI cables, a USB for the computer, the RCA components for the PS3, the little attachment for the PS3, and the power supply. And then we have the little good old instruction manuals of how to actually plug it in. Maybe I could actually make a little short little video of how to plug it in, but it seems like the HDMI out has to go to the TV and HDMI in has to go to the Xbox or the console. That's pretty much all it is. And it's even labeled in the back. And then you have your power supply and that's pretty much all there is to it. Then we have the warranty, the little other things. And then we got the HD PVR2 Gaming Edition installation disc, which is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And here's the thing. I actually still have my HD PVR. This is the first one. This is the first HD PVR. So there you have it. I'm still going to be using this. Maybe if I'm actually done with it, I could probably give it away or something like that. Help my friend out if he wants to make videos. And then I can use the HD PVR 2 for the future videos. But for now, I'm going to be needing the HD PVR, the first version, so that I could actually play the Nintendo Wii, the old one, and play GameCube games on that so I could actually record GameCube games there too. Alright, without further ado, here's the HD PVR 2. Just let me get the box out of the way. Put that out of the way. And, well, first I gotta unravel it. All right, got it all taped up. So, here is the HD PVR2. It is smaller, and it has a little protective sticker, but I'm not gonna remove that. And here's a little button to actually, if you wanna start recording, you just have to press that button. But I'm pretty sure that the software itself will actually help you record too. So, here it is. It looks so small, it could actually break it in half. So, there you have it. Oh, there you go. Little power. 
USB and out. Oh wait, AV in. Okay, there's HDMI in, HDMI out. So they made it smaller. So this is a HDP VR2. Well, let me move the camera down there. And then here's the previous version. As you can plainly tell, the previous version is a little bit bigger. The HDP VR2 is a little bit smaller. So they made it easier. Well, it could be easily broken, but they made it smaller so you could actually put it in a confined space. And setup, again, is pretty easy. Just have to put the HDMI cables in. The out goes to the TV, the in goes to the Xbox 360, PS3, Nintendo, Wii U, however you want to play that. So there you have it. So now I basically have the HDP VR2. So I'll be able to actually record in 1080p video and produce it in 720p quality, make it better. I can play, finally play in 1080p because of my TV. You need to have HD TV, and I have a Sony Bravia, and there you have it. I'll be able to finally play in 1080p, but basically I'm pretty much repeating the same thing I've already said. So that's all there is to it, and installation is pretty easy. I really don't, I honestly don't think I actually need to put a video on there. And again, I had the HD PVR, the first one that I could record the Nintendo Wii, then the GameCube, and then I have the HD PVR 2 for everything else. So... There you have it. Let's see. Tomorrow, I'm going to be making my first video with an HD PVR 2, and it's going to be a quality test recording a short video. But regardless, it's finally here. And if you want to know how much it cost, this little thing, it was the same thing as this, actually, for some reason. I don't know why. It's just whatever. I think this one will be cheaper now. But here, it cost $169. And that's from the actual official Hub Hog website that I'll link you guys to if you want to order from there. But I'm pretty sure you're able to actually order it from Best Buy and as well as Amazon. But regardless, I waited a week. I didn't want to wait for the Best Buy because it was closed. So, there you have it. This little thing, $184 total because of $15 shipping by US, USP, is, no, UPS, second air second error shipping whatever so there you have it that's all i'm gonna have to say for today and stand look out for tomorrow i'll be able to upload a video on that too so here we have it hdp vr2 i'm going to be using this and i'm going to make a lot of videos with this too hopefully live stream will be even better with this too so with that being said i am sort of kings around zero have a nice day everybody and i will see you in the next video